This is a quick video showing the glow plug relay on a Mark VI Ford Transit. Uh, my glow plugs were all knackered, replaced those, but still not working. This is the glow plug relay. That is the top one there which is controlled by the ignition switch. This one here, this terminal, which is that one, it should be permanently live, but it's not. I've put a voltmeter on it, I've got 12 volts, but when I put a test lamp on it, it's not lighting the test lamp. So, further investigation shows that this little wire here, which is underneath this section, is a fusible wire, which means that basically when you draw over sort of 80 amps, I think it is, this wire will blow. But feeling that wire, it feels solid there, and then it feels like there's nothing there. So that has blown. But I think there's just enough contact in there to give me a reading of 12 volts up here but it's not enough contact in there to actually make a circuit and draw power to light my test lamp. So I'm going to strip this wire out and possibly replace it with something like an 80 amp fuse and hopefully that will then send power over to the glow plugs which can be tested on this little tab here. There's a little screw there. You can put your meter on there and test you've got power coming. I've got continuity from the glow plugs all the way back to the other leg in there but obviously and the relay's working but not having power to that leg means the glow plugs won't light so hopefully cleaning that off replacing that fusible wire with a fuse should sort everything out so after a little bit of exploration the fusible wire is indeed fused it has actually separated but it's really hard to see because it's inside black rubber sheathing so you can't physically see that it's blown until you sort of feel around, feel a little bit of a gap and when you move them you can feel that they're moving sort of separately inside the rubber. So yeah, a bit of a crap design, I can't see why they don't just put an inline 80 amp fuse there because visibly you, you cannot see that that, that is blown. Um, you can test but you, it's sort of hidden by the black sleeving. Anyhow, so now I've just got to either put an inline fuse in here or maybe just put a block on that for now just to see if that's going to sort my glow plugs out. Now I've just joined the fusible wire with this, this block here just to create a circuit. Now when I pull the glow plug relay out and test there before my light wasn't lighting up. So I just probed that and I wasn't getting a light. What I was getting was 12 volts, but not enough to light that. Next step is to turn the ignition on and then check that I've now got power over to this point here. And if that's all good, the glow plug should light up and the van should start. So with that wire replaced, the glow plugs now work and the van starts. The temperature today is zero degrees, so it's quite cold, um, but the van started fine.